We're back with Erin Moffiletto. She's a co-host for uh, Morning Brew with Larry Aarons. Um, before we went for break, uh, uh, let's continue our conversation about the New Mexico s uh, state. Mm -hmm. um, we have our issues here as far as, um, you know, not having too many jobs, people leaving and things like that. Um, and I think you brought up earlier when we were talking about uh, Forbes magazine. Yeah, yeah, labeled us as a death spiral state. Uh, and that was devastating. It, yeah, it, it yeah. broke my heart. I mean, yeah. how can you label the city, state I love, yeah. a death spiral state? Yeah. Um, I think Albuquerque, uh, I'm sorry, New Mexico was really hurt by that. Um, like as if we don't have other issues and we already have enough problems with a lot of people leaving and stuff. And um, Texas is benefiting from that. So yeah. I, the way I looked at it was someone benefited from that comment, and that's why they said that. Um, there's that's that motivation there, and I, you know, I rarely ever speak. I try not to take sides on these kind of issues, but whenever it's a direct uh, insult like that, yeah. then we all feel like, well, you know, we are kind of a average state, but, and I don't like to call us a poor state. I think we're a pretty vibrant state. We just need attention as far as uh, some, you know people coming in here but yeah and I think I mean every state has their issues and we certainly have our issues too yeah. and we're trying to improve that um, and yeah when whenever there's any kind of negative press against your state mm -hmm. that's not going to help it mm -hmm. I know uh, New Mexico uh, uh, the tourism department mm -hmm. they've been investing a lot of funds to try to lure people to New Mexico mm -hmm. and see us and learn the greatness about our state mm -hmm. and then you read something bad about us and it's just I, I say that to a lot of candidates when they come in. It's a political show. We have a lot of candidates, mm -hmm. and I always um, ask them what they think about the economy and all that. We are recovering. We're doing a little yeah. better, but uh, we've got a long ways to go, uh, and I think we're reflecting the national economy. It's not something the current governor can do or the current mayor can do. Anyone in their position probably would have done the same thing that she had. The tax cut, they're saying that it could help. Some say it helps. Some say it hurts. Uh, we have yet to see what happens with that. But, mm. Yeah, and I think New Mexico, we are trying to do more to lure um, more businesses. Um, I personally think we need to be doing more. Um, but, I mean, that's, that could be another Yeah, <laughs> topic. exactly. That's another subject. Yeah. Um, um, going back to your show, I was, um, the, you know, the, in the morning, then when you guys uh, come in, you usually have a, a guest list that you already know about, so you kind of talk about them. Uh, have you ever had anybody that you kind of uh, didn't feel like you knew anything about that you um, you would rather uh, uh, rather not know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get a guest like that? Um, you know, because that's got, I'm thinking that's got to be pretty difficult to deal with such a variety of guests from such a different walks of life. Every yeah. once in a while, I mean, trust me, I love meeting people and mm -hmm. I love getting to know people. Um, however, when when we have people come in that we have no idea about or hey we have a surprise guest musical guest we once had this guy come in that he was just off the wall I saw that I saw that the one. puppet guy yes I saw that one that so was there was awful. a few few <laughs> I think it's there what they're they're a little bit difficult to deal with because you're not sure what they're gonna do and stuff um, I, I kind of like more controlled kind of kind of even though I'm having a conversation with you we're still kind of keeping it to it you know kind of in certain parameters you yeah know? So um, that's got to be different. Anyway, uh, it's a good show. I think you guys are doing a great job. Do you like covering politics? Um, I do. Yeah. Um, my passion is you, politics. Yeah. yeah, I was a political science major. I was pre-law. Um, and I sometimes regret not going to law school. I you still go back. You and know, you know, that's yeah. actually something that's crossed yeah. my mind the last few weeks. Um, yeah. I just finished up a business law class yeah. um, with my MBA that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. And I just loved it so much. Um, I really enjoy law, and that's just always been one of my passions. And in politics, um, I can give you a little bit of background how I got involved in politics. Okay. Um, so I grew up in northern New Mexico. My family moved there in 1994. Mm -hmm. And now in eighth grade, I saw something in the paper about this Voices Against Violence conference that is being hosted in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And my local congressman was hosting this. So I was like, well, I'm going to do this because I think that I have some ideas that could prevent violence in our state. So I wrote this essay and I sent it in. And there are a few hundred people that entered this. And this was like a statewide, you know, kids in high school, middle school submitted this. I'm in eighth grade. So myself, I actually was a, win a winner of this. Mm. 
as well as a junior in high school. Um, so I was so excited. They uh, sent us to Washington, D.C. Well, they didn't send us, we paid for it. Mm -hmm. But we go to D.C. and we just have all these speakers talking to us the whole time, celebrities, and I got to meet uh, Bill Clinton at the time, um, President Bill Clinton at the time. So that was a- You went to the White House? No, not at the White House. I was at an event where he was talking oh, about violence in America yeah. and uh, who's talking about this Voices Against Violence conference. So, um, yeah, I actually made a joke because the singer Monica was there as well. Mm -hmm. So I was on a radio interview and I was like, yeah, I met Bill and Monica. And they're like, wait a second. <laughs> How did you meet this? You yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, no, no, let me clarify. Um, so it was a really great conference. Mm -hmm. And the, in, the last day of the conference, though, we all kind of were tired of everybody talking to us and not letting us talk about what mm -hmm. we think. Mm -hmm. should be do we be, we should be doing mm -hmm. so we kind of all finally talked about our ideas and said okay it's time you guys listen now and you know that was really great so then we came back to New Mexico and um, the other girl that won she was about to graduate high school and move on to college mm -hmm. so I was kind of stuck with the task of what do we do now and we had a lot of other people that had entered this voice against violence essay contest mm -hmm. uh, come together in santa fe and talk about what we want to do in new mexico mm -hmm. so we were all tasked to put together um a vol volunteer places around their areas respected areas and we did that and it was probably uh eight months of work we all did and it putting together community activities and stuff that you can do um, to prevent getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. So months went by and I never heard back from my congressman's office. And who, uh, who was this? Um, this was Tom Udall. Tom Udall, that's right, that's right. So it was after an election. Yeah. And then I finally hear back from them three months, four months after I wrote this email. And it's like they told me, sorry, nobody got a hold of you, but we decided not to go forward with this mm. and just dropped it. Now, I was probably freshman at freshman at this time mm. in high school. And that just like really struck me. Before this, I wanted to be a veterinarian. <laughs> and that just really hurt my feelings that, you know, my parents had always warned me about people kind of doing things for themselves, their own interests, and then that kind of just stuck in my head. And I was like, well, if I ever grow up and get into politics, I'm going to be that person that does things for the people and would never do something like that. But so that's how you began in there. So that's how I got into politics. Okay. Let me take a short break and we'll <laughs> okay. come back and continue that conversation. Uh, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 